A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Monday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider is Rev. Father Ronald Ray S. Partinez, SVD, Vice Rector of the Shrine. Our celebration will now begin. Pag-ibig na makamtan Buhay ay inialay niya Sa dakilang Diyos Ama Upang atin ang makamtan Buhay na walang hanggan Sa piging ng ating Panginoon, tayo'y laging natitipon Upang matutong magmahalan sa pag-ibig na makamtan In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit Amen The Lord be with you And with your spirit Today is Monday, June 14. A new beginning for all of us. So, katiputi po tayo sa misang ito to thank God for, for this another day. Thanking Him for the gift of time. We ask the Lord in this Mass na bigyan tayo ng tinatawag na enlightenment so that we can use properly the time ahead of us. May we use it productively, meaningfully, not only for ourselves but for our, for our family. We ask for his companionship and guidance in this journey for the whole day. And for us to worthily offer ourselves and our prayers and our offerings let us first recall our sins and ask God for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you, Mortal frailty can do nothing. Grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by your resolve and our deeds through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as your fellow workers, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. 
we cause no one to stumble in anything in order that no fault may be found with our ministry. On the contrary, in everything we command ourselves as ministers of God, through much endurance, in afflictions, hardships, constraints, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, vigils, fasts, by the purity, knowledge, patience, kindness in the Holy Spirit, in unfriend love, in truthful speech, in the power of God, with weapons of righteousness at the right and at the left, through glory and dishonor, insult and praise. We are treated as deceivers and yet are truthful, as unrecognized and yet knowledged, as dying and behold, we live, as chastised and yet not put to death, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet enriching many, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made known his salvation. In the sight of the nation, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance. To one who is evil when one strikes you on your right cheek turn the other one to him as well if anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic hand him your cloak as well should anyone press you into service for one mile go with him for two miles Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Sa mga nasalupo ng simbahan, and also those in the online live streaming sa YouTube and Facebook. Pag Monday, pag umaga, Mas maraming viewers po ang simbahan namin kasi our cross-posting partner allow us to post sa hapon, wala na gaano. Anyway, uh, sabi ni Jesus, love does not retaliate. 
hindi siya naghahangad na to offer retaliation or revenge. At ito pong turo na ito is a mandate for us all. Ano pala po muna ang konteksto nito para maintindihan natin yung bago pa yung bago yung Moses law na basihan ng eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth noon, bago pa iyon ang law muna ay tinatawag na law of no restraint walang control example kung isang tribo kung nanakawang ka ng isang tribo ng isang goat ang kapalit niyan ay sampung goat there's no restraint sa pagtake ng revenge noong panahon bago pa ng time nila Moses kung may napatay sa kabila na isa ang kapalit buong tribo <laughs> unrestrained o like sa buhay natin ngayon yung may kapatid mo may nasabi ka na masama na hindi mo naman siya nasadya isang taong ka hindi kinakausap anong ta- ano pong tawag ngayon dyan di ba overaction overacting naman yun yung before ng time ni Moses kaya si Moses na isip niya dapat may alituntunin hindi pwede na wagas ano alituntunin eye for an eye kinuha mo yung isang mata kukuha din ako isang mata sa'yo patas lang para akma lang <laughs> Kinuha na mo ako ng isang ngipin. Isang ngipin lang kukunan ko din sa'yo. An eye for an eye. Para lang yung emotion mo, akma lang sa pangyayari. Hindi overreaction. So yun na isip ni Moses. Pero sa time ni Jesus, sabi niya, kahit an eye for an eye, kahit tooth for a tooth, hindi pa rin. Kasi love should not retaliate. Naalala ko po yung kwento sa libro ni, na ang titulo ay Healing, Healing, Pagpapagaling na libro ni Francis Mocknot. May isang lalaki na pumunta sa kanya para magpa-pray over deliverance kasi daw siya ay na sasapian ng demonyo, the demon of anger. Kasi na naginip siya the past day, day before coming to Francis Macnot, ano pa naginip niya? Sa panaginip niya, na doon sila sa isang party, may party. Tapos, nandun, yung, nandun siya sa party. Nandun din yung pamilya niya, nandun yung mga best friends niya. Ngunit nakita rin yung kaaway niya doon sa party. Tapos, he was already boiling daw sa galit when he saw his, ano, and he is losing control. Tapos inutusan niyo yung guard niya at driver niya. Pasabugan mo kami dito ng bomba para mamatay itong kalaban ko dito. Sabi ng guard niya, Boss, are you sure? E nandyan ka? Nandyan yung makaibigan mo? Sige. Can you get the story? Ibig sabihin, if you not notice, when a person is blind, when, when you are filled with anger, minsan you are already blind of the essential things. Kaya nga minsan, dito natin maintindihan yung mga road rage, yung managbanggaan sa kalsada, binaril na lang yung ano, abertuloy, nakulong sila for 25 years. De, yung iba naman, may trabaho, dahil sa sobrang galit, nasakta, natanggal tuloy siya. You see, affectado tuloy buong pamilya. Ang point po ni Jesus ay o yung mga kapatid nag-away sa lupa 30 years na hindi pa nag-uusap-usap or ibang family ibang mag-aasawa they were together for 20 years at first they became great greatest friends but after 30 years they became their greatest enemies Because it boils down, we allow our emotional outburst to rule our mind, our life, our time, our peace. For Jesus, dapat hindi. Dapat we must be free at all times. 
so that we can use our time very, very well, productively. Sayang naman kasi. So what are the lessons of Jesus for today? Tato lang po pala. Una, I hope you don't forget the story. Babalik-balikan natin yung una. Sana, for Jesus kasi, what is most important, you keep your peace at all time. You keep love in your heart at all time. Sabi doon sa librong emotional intelligence na sinulat ni Goldman, siya ang pinakauna nakapagsulat niya ni, eh, 30 years ago, yung pag-handle mo ng damdamin mo sa isang araw is a 24-hour work. Kasi papagubago yan eh. But it's your work to keep your peace, to keep your love, so that you can reach your goal always. Minsan kasi yung mga damdamin namin is damdamin natin ay distracting us in pursuing our goal. And who, is, and who else is our ultimate goal? It's the Lord. So never allow anger, worry, tension, anxiety to still time. Yung nakawin ng oras mo sa iyo. Diba? Dapat paglabanan natin, pagdesisyonan, na wag natin hayaan na may magnakaw ng ating precious life and time. Not even the thought of hurting others. Parang insulto naman yun sa nagbigay ng oras at insulto sa atin. Kasi alam nyo naman, bawat araw, dapat ka magpasalamat tayo sa buhay na binigay ng Panginoong Diyos. Ito palang ipagpasalamat natin. Dapat tinatanong mo, what am, how, what am I doing with myself? How am I spending my time? E eh kung maghapon ka na galit, three days na four days, tell yourself, get over it immediately. You are missing the point. That's the point of Jesus. Get on the road. Para mga sasakyan, idala mo na kagad sarili mo sa talyer. Sayang naman na nakatenga ang sasakyan na yan sa gilid for 10 days na you are not making out of your life. Can you get the point? The point of Jesus is spend your time productively, meaningfully, do not allow other to steal it from away from you. So, so let yourself, do not let yourself become too affected. Minsan, pag ako nang sobra affected na ako, half day na, I'm still overwhelmed, inisip ko, tinatawang sarili ko, why I am so invested in this emotion? what it makes so baka naman kasi you have to withdraw already your investment <laughs> you withdraw yourself from the attention of the emotion so friends next time you are bothered with your emotions 30 minutes siguro pagbigyan mo lang siya for 30 minutes feel it own it recognize it that it's there but let it go immediately after 30 minutes tell yourself I will not allow you to steal the focus in me. I will not allow you to steal my focus to God, who is my ultimate goal. I will have to take charge of myself, not you taking charge of me. Because I have many things to do. <laughs> I will have to reach my goal for my life. So, pangalawa naman, ang point din po ni Jesus ay, ang point ng gospel ay, Hindi naman ibig sabihin na we suppress our emotion. Magtimpi ka na lang sa gilid. Kasi it's impossible and it's not healthy. We do not push back our emotion. Back, kasi pag, when you push it back, parang tinatago mo lang for a while. It will just build up next time. Ang point lang naman po ni Jesus ay sana recognize that you are hurt. <coughs> You accept that you were in pain, but please find other ways to release it. Please find other ways to release it. Kaya nga minsan eh, yung last week meron lang akong nakausap eh, unfair para sa akin kasi alam ko galit siya sa ibang tao, but sa akin niya binubunton, eh that's what you call displacement, na, na displace yung emotion. Kaya talk with somebody, Write it in paper. 
yung emotion mo, does other ways to release it, or clarify it to the person whom you think will hurt you, kung sa pinamang maayos, at kung may pera kayo, siguro, magpa-counseling. <laughs> magpa-counseling. Or, in your own, pwede kayo maging archaeologist sa sarili niyong paraan. Archaeologist. Di ba ang trabaho ng archaeologist ay mag, maghukay? Yan yung nabasa ko kay Francis Kong sa libro niya two weeks ago. Sabi niya, sometimes you need to be a ar- good archaeologist. Di ba ang archaeologist? Siya ay naguhukay to understand the past. Or you have to dig deeper in your, in your past. Baka kasi meron lang na similar experience that trigger you that happened in the past that you are reacting now. Sometimes, sabi ni Francis Kong, you have to dig to understand why you are acting that way. If that's the only way to free yourself and become a better person and reach your goal. And last, ito, ito, sabi, ang point po ni Jesus, bakit sabi niya, you should never take revenge kasi always remember this very important principle in life. Pag pinagpili kayo, situation before family, emotion before someone, always choose people, always choose relationship, always choose peace and love. Pag pinagpili kayo between emotion of anger, worry, uh, choose people, choose yourself. Ang iba, pag marami ng problema, magpapangmatay na ako, magpapangmatay na ako. Choose yourself. It's only the emotion and negative thinking. Choose yourself. Choose to save yourself. You see the point of Jesus? That's why ang talino ni Jesus, because He's the Son of God. Choose always yourself. Choose relationship. Na, to close his homily, uh, si Oprah Winfrey will not be that very good, di ba, Oprah Winfrey, if not because of his many spiritual advisors. Ang isang pinakamagaling yung advisor niya ay si T.D. Jakes, bishop ito ng ibang reliyon. Ngayon, kasi si Oprah Winfrey, for many long years, meron siyang hinanakit sa mundo, hinanakit sa buhay niya, kasi di niya matanggap na ang kanyang past life. Gusto niya kasi magaling sa magandang pamilya sa so good family background but ang nangyari sa kanya one year old ah, yung nanay niya was impregnated at the age of 17 so pina adapt siya sa lola niya for 7 years tapos nang binalik na siya ng lola niya sa nanay niya nanibago siya kasi itong lola itong nanay ko parang hindi ako kilala <laughs> so that was a, why sabi niya why did i have this kind of background na engage siya sa ibang mga bata. Siguro sa inyo dito, mga galing kay elite family. Siguro some people will get envy of you. But sabi, yan ang gusto ni, sabi ni, ano, ni Alfred Winfrey, why, 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 why that, bakit yun ang aking past? Why itong nanay ko ganito, ako trinato? Asan yung tatay ko? She has plenty of question that boils, that boiling her. Kaya si T.D. Jake, may napakagandang, ano sa kanya, advice. Pwede nyo ito tingnan sa YouTube. <laughs> sabi ni T. Jakes, makinig na lang po kayo ah. Ito sabi niya, You were allowing yourself to be enslaved by your past, opera. If you allow the past situation to take control and power over you, then you are not going nowhere. You are keeping yourself enslaved, imprisoned, yung sama ng loob. Kaya baka na-check din yung sarili ninyo. But sabi ni T.G. Jake, if I were you, I, you choose to forgive. Kasi by doing it, you release yourself from the clutch of the past and old emotion so that you can walk freely at present and peacefully. So you can do more for yourself, for others, and for God. And then Oprah was already crying. To close this homily also, I would like to leave you yung post na nabasa ko. Sabi doon sa post na nabasa ko, yung mga nangyari daw sa buhay natin ng bata tayo o kahit recently na nasaktan tayo, yung mga nangyari na yun ay hindi mo kasalanan kasi it was out of your control. 
Tama naman. Sabi pa ng post na yon, pero to rise from the situation that to rise from, to rise from the situation na nagresulta ng pain na yon, to rise from it, aha, is already your responsibility. So let take charge of yourself. So friends, ang challenge ng naman sa atin dito ay you have to choose and to decide. Are you going to allow God to take control over you? So that peace, growth, freedom will come, or to continue in enslavement to anger, worry, and fear and anxiety, and that is our choice to make. God bless everyone. Magsitayu po tayo as we offer to the Lord our intercession. Our loving Father has been very good to us. Let us pray that His merciful love may, make, may mark our attitude towards everyone. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as pe God's people, we may be able to live out Christ's law of love. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer that we may forgive our enemies and those who have hurt or wronged us in any way. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that we may do away with division and selfishness, and that we may overcome evil by goodness. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that those who are hardened in sin may be touched by the Holy Spirit of the Lord, to repent and change their ways. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the medical experts, scientists, and researchers, that they may be able to continue to ve develop more effective and affordable vaccines for everyone as soon as possible so that everyone may be protected against contracting the virus while those already infected will be healed and there will be no more further transmissions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that our beloved dead may be brought safely to the company of Christ. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for our other intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Spirit in Christ, hear with this feel. You are the wind that breathes through the fields. Gather Sisters and brothers, 
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of His holy Church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. <coughs> Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's sta fallen state and by his suffering cancelled out our sin by his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life and by ascending to you O father he has unlocked the gates of heaven and so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as we as without end we acclaim indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, <coughs> we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Onesto Ong Choco, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by His divine teaching, we dare to say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, for from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Ang kapayapaan na ating Panginoong Diyos ay laging sumain niyo. At sumain niyo Magbigayan rin. tayo ng kapayapaan sa isa't isa. Jesus, Lamb of God, You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. of the world have mercy on us Jesus Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us Friends, this is our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Lamb of God. Let us behold Him, for He takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
as this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Bernanimitz, pray for us. Please be seated for some announcements. We are inviting couples who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries this year to join and participate in our third Renewal of Marriage Vows or Renewal ng Bayan this coming June 27, 2021 during our 8 a.m. Mass. Register via bit.ly slash Shrine Renewal ng Bayan or messages in the Shrine's Facebook page. Thank you very much, Reverend Father Ronnie Crisostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. Please remain seated. Meron ba akong konting announcement? Una muna, ako pala si Father Ronald Ray S. Partines, SVD, uh, current vice rector at assigned po sa social media ministry. Ito ngayon na, kung napanood nyo kami ngayon sa YouTube or Facebook, this is our social media ministry. So una muna, lubos kami nagpapasalamat sa inyong patuloy po ng pagsuporta and patronizing our social media platform. Meaning, yung araw-araw nyo panunood, yung pag-share ng mga masses sa inyong Facebook, YouTube, that is what I'm thanking, thanking you for. So, continue to be with us, continue to pray for us. Pangalawa naman, gusto ko po sana sa inyong i ipaalam sa gusto mga magpamisa, itong aming simbahan ay tumatanggap po ng mass intention. So on your screen right now, lalabas po dyan yung poster kung saan nakalagay yung mga, mga informations how you can send your mass intentions to us. Uh, you can send to us mass intentions for the dead, for healing, for many other purposes. Kung birthday nyo o malapit na ang Father's Day, gusto yung ipamisa ang tatay ninyo, just <coughs> connect to us by typing yung 
www.bit.ly Shrine Intentions. And the most important part po dyan sa link na yan is to click the submit. Papasok po yan sa aming data centralized system. Pero the most important, send to us your intention from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. only. Kasi by 4 p.m. po, we are already closing the link para to give way to process the information. Pangalawa din po, kung may mga katanungan kayo at questions or feedback, yung mga contact numbers na dyan sa poster, yan po yung aming mga, na yung landline, na dyan yung cellphone, na dyan yung email, at Facebook Messenger. Ang pangalan po pala ating simbahan ay Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. We belong to the Daisy Sukubaw. Tapos yung nakikita nyo picture dyan sa poster, yan po yung harapan ng aming simbahan. You may also subscribe to our YouTube channel with the same name, Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. And last po pala, gusto ko sanang i-offer sa inyo kung gusto nyo mag-like and follow sa Facebook page where, where I am managing and administering. Ang pangalan ng Facebook page ay Words to Light Our Path. If you will subscribe to this and also to the YouTube channel, you'll get daily morning prayers. Uh, uplifting morning prayer which I am personally composing every day and other related quotations and sayings that will inspire us in our day-to-day -day living. So that's all. Words to light our path. May Jesus, the divine word, light and always our path. Kindly rise for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended and has been offered. Let us now go, go to the peace of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.